2009 that the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka was presented in Parliament as an organization that needs to have the stature of a national institution. And it has now that stature. But of course, previous to that, from about the year 2000, it served as a society of certified management accountants. But none too soon, it was realized that it needs the stature that it now has. Matching what South Asian countries such as India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh do have, a national management accounting body. And so that's exactly what this Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka claims to be. As a Sri Lankan body, the Institute provides opportunities for students to undertake a professional course in management accountancy at very affordable prices, which is one of the main things that this organization is vitally engaged in. And of course, now a total student population of about 12,000 are being served, and uh, those are factors which help us to appreciate that it has now kept moving on and progressing. And we also honor, later on in the scheme of things, those that have contributed vitally to the profession in Sri Lanka. To address this audience with some introductory remarks and certain ways, words of welcome, we would like very much to invite Professor Lakshman R. Watawala, who is very well known in Sri Lankan circles, a chartered accountant as well as being a management accountant, and uh, he has served in many capacities as chairman of several organizations uh, and corporations, and also he served in academia, and of course has allowed him to be recognized as a professor, being the um, Deputy Chairman and Executive Director of the Singapore, Singapore Informatics Computer Institute Private Limited. And he also serves currently as the direct, in the directorates of Richard Perez PLC, Asian Alliance Insurance PLC, Transnational Lanka Record Solutions, Lanka IOC, Abans Electricals PLC, Lake House Printers and Publishers, and is also an alternate director of ND Bank PLC. So we'd like at this juncture to invite him to the lectern already there as I'm waffling on, Professor Lakshman uh, Honorable Dr. Sarat Tamunugama, Senior Presidential Advisor, Economic and Monetary Affairs, and the Acting Minister of Finance and Planning, Honorable Johnston Fernando, Minister of Cooperatives and Internal Trade, Honorable Neomal Pereira, the Deputy Minister of Cooperatives and Internal Trade, His Excellency Bruce Levy, High Commissioner for Canada, Mr. R. Bandhu Padhya, the Secretary Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, Mr. Amras Srivardhana, the Secretary Ministry of Cooperatives and Internal Trade, Professor Mohan Munasingha, co-winner of the 2007 Nobel Prize for Peace, Mr. Roger Tabo, Chairman of the Professional Accountants in Business of the International Federation of Accountants, Mr. Komal Chitraka, President of the South Asian Federation of Accountants, Mr. Nimal Velgama, Chairman of Sri Lanka Telecom, and Mobitel, the principal sponsors of the summit, Mr. Anand Vehalla, the Secretary of CMA Sri Lanka, the Auditor General of Sri Lanka, Mr. Swarma Jyoti, visiting presidents and delegates of the management accounting bodies of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Canada and USA, presidents of the chartered accounting bodies of Sri Lanka and Nepal, council members of Sri Lanka, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka, I am indeed pleased to welcome you for the inauguration of the second CMA Global Management Accounting Summit 2010 held in Sri Lanka. Today is a very special occasion for CMA Sri Lanka as we are celebrating our 10th anniversary. 
It was 3rd June 2000 that CMA was established as the Professional Management Accounting Body in Sri Lanka and titled the Society of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka. The year 2009 was a historic year for the accountancy profession of Sri Lanka. We celebrated the 50th anniversary since the setting up of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka. One of the most significant events that took place in the accounting profession in this historic year was the incorporation of the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka by an Act of Parliament number 23 of 2009. CMA was also admitted as a member of the South Asian Federation of Accountants in 2009 and attended the first meeting in early this year. We are indeed very pleased that CMA Canada, which has provided CMA Sri Lanka with the technical assistance since its inception in 1999, are represented by its chairman Bob Strachan and the president and CEO Joy Thomas. And I wish to thank them profusely for the valuable support and services rendered during this period of time. Canada are also represented by the High Commissioner, His Excellency Bruce Levy, and Canada assisted us at the beginning when we were starting our project to set up CMA through the Canadian International Development Agency or CEDA by providing the financial grant. In fact, I remember at that time one of the questions that they asked us is about sustainability really the topic that we are going to discuss today and I am happy to say that we have gone in the right direction and we have seen the fruits of sustainability at that time. I am confident that we can see the achievements that we have made during this time where we have 1,900 members and over 12,000 students which I think is a very good performance. I should also acknowledge the support given by the management accounting bodies of the South Asian region, the close relationship that they, we had with them, the great support they gave us in all matters, and also of USA, and not forget, forgetting the main role played by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Sri Lanka, and also CPA Australia. The first CMA Global Management Accounting Summit was held in New Delhi, India in 2008. Sri Lanka are indeed honoured by the opportunity given to us to host this global summit and wish to thank our co-hosts and technical partners for their support and presence. The co-host includes the Institute of Cost and Works Accountants of India, the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of Pakistan and the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of Bangladesh and the technical partners include the CMA Canada and the Institute of Management Accountants of USA. The theme of this year's summit is CMA for Sustainable Business and is a topic that has been promoted by the professional accountants of business of IFAC. And we are indeed very fortunate that the chairman of the PAIB, Mr. Roger Tabo, is present with us. We also have another member from our region serving on this committee, and he also serves an, as an advisor to our organizing committee, and he is Mr. A. N. Raman, the vice president of SAFA, who gave us the lead in the selection of this theme and the topics. I wish to thank him for the valuable services rendered. I also wish to thank all the leading speakers, both foreign and local, who will address the technical sessions and add value to the summit. In organizing this global summit, we have received valuable support from our sponsors. And I wish to thank Sri Lanka Telecom and Mobitel 
the principal sponsors who have been really helping us for a number of years. In fact, I must state that we also had some others who were coming with even bigger sums of money, but we preferred to go with consistent or consistency where we were able to rely for the long-term benefits of the organization. Then we also have as have as co-sponsors, Lanka IOC, who are also connected with India, being a part of IOC India. The co-sponsors, the NDP Bank, and the print media sponsors, Vijay Group of Newspapers, who have saved us a great deal, electronic media sponsors, MTV, Sirasa and USFM, the official airline, Sri Lankan, and our associate sponsors who have helped us to make this event a success. Today, we have invited many dignitaries for the inauguration of the CMA Global Summit, and I wish to thank all of them for accepting our invitation. His Excellency the President has sent his special representative, Honorable Dr. Sarat Tamungama, on his behalf. And today, in fact, was a very busy day for him, because as the Acting Minister of Finance, he had to present the budget in Parliament. And despite having such a busy schedule, you must be fortunate that he has extended his courtesies to be with us. And I'm sure this is also something that he has really done for the number of foreign guests who are here with us, the foreign dignitaries, the foreign presidents, their members, who have come in large numbers. And I wish to thank you, sir, for that great honor. that you have placed on all of us. I am sure that your budget would be a great success and would be of benefit to the people of Sri Lanka. I also wish to thank the Honorable Minister Johnston Fernando, under which ministry our institute is coming, for the valuable support given by him, and also his Deputy Minister, Honorable Deputy Minister, Honorable Neumar Pereira, the Secretary, Mr. Andrew Sirivadna, and the other officials who have been really helping us a great deal in all matters in organizing this event. We also have a special guest from India, the Secretary, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, Mr. R. Bandopal, who is also representing his minister, whom I had met in India, and he said, let me know the date and I will come for your summit. But unfortunately, he had some other urgent work and he deputized by sending his secretary. So I wish to thank him. You are really not only him, but there is a large delegation from India. So let me welcome all of you and let me also thank them because they have known that when they come with the secretary, they have to really show that they are of great strength. So I wish to thank them for their presence in large numbers. I must also thank all our council members, the organizing committee and the staff of CMA for the valuable services they have rendered during this period to organize this event. I'm sure that the next two days we will have the technical sessions and that all participants will benefit from the well laid down program and would also have the opportunity to interact with the speakers and meet with friends and colleagues. I also wish to thank the chairman and co-chairman of the various sessions who have accepted their invitation and agreed to chair these sessions. So with this Welcome re remarks. I wish the second CMA Global Summit all success and that all our delegates, especially the foreign delegates, will enjoy their stay in Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan hospitality and that their presence today in large numbers also shows 
the great strength and the confidence that they have placed in Sri Lanka. So I am sure many investors and others who are now looking at Sri Lanka will follow your example and be here in large numbers. Thank you. Thank you too, Professor Lakshman R. Watavala. In keeping with the sentiments expressed by our previous speaker, we're very happy to also recognize the presence here of the President of the South Asian Federation of Accountants, Mr. Komal Chitraka, who is a fellow member of the Chartered Accountants Institutes of both Nepal and India. And uh, as I just said, he's the president for the year 2010 of SAFA, where he has served previously uh, as well as vice president. He's the founding president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nepal, the founder, secretary general, and presently treasurer of the Nepal chapter of Transparency International. And uh, he will be speaking to us in English. The reason I say that is because he's fluent in many other languages. I'll give you the list. <laughs> Nebari is mother tongue. Nepali, Hindi, English, Mandarin Chinese, Urdu, German, and French. And he can even survive placing an order in a Japanese restaurant. Because he's Japanese. Kumar Chitra. Ayu Bhavan. Namaskar. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Representative of President of Sri Lanka, Honorable Dr. Amun Gama, guest of honor, Honorable Fernando, special guests, Honorable Pereira, His Excellency, Mr. Levy, Mr. Bandapadhyaya, Naval Laureate, Professor Muna Singhi, IFAC, PIB Chairman, Mr. Tabo, President CMD Sri Lanka, Professor Lachman Watawala, Uh, <clears throat> our dignitaries in the dais, heads and members of delegation from the various member bodies of SAFA, the dignitaries, loudest speakers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I bring with me warm greetings from SAFA. I congratulate CMA Sri Lanka and highly commend their hard work in successfully organizing this magnificent international event of the CMA Global Summit in Colombo. I am very pleased to be here among you this evening on this glorious occasion. I am much obliged to the organizers for the kind invitation and warm welcome extended to me and for ensuring my comfortable stay in this beautiful city of Colombo. I thank them for giving me this honor of addressing the CMA Global Summit in the capacity of President Safa. We are very pleased and proud this year to welcome the Institute of Certified Management Accountants of Sri Lanka as a member body of Safa. We are sure that the contribution of CMA Sri Lanka will be valuable to take Safa to greater heights. Although CMA Sri Lanka is a new member body of Safa, President Professor Lashman Watawala has been with SAFA from its inception. We recognize his valuable contributions as one of the founders of SAFA and his past president. Personally, I feel myself fortunate to have Lashman as one of my best friends. I have come here from Nepal, the land of Himalayas, the top of the world, to this beautiful land of Sri Lanka, the pearl of Asia. Water from the ocean around here is irrigating the fields in the southeastern region this monsoon season. Water coming down from our mountains again flows back to the ocean here. Mother Nature has united the people of this region in one destiny. We cannot live in isolation. We benefit mutually with cooperation from each other. SAFA is dedicated to ensure its continued eminence in the world of accountancy, in the public interest, and towards broad economic development of the region as covered by SAC. SAFA endeavors to contribute towards the economic development of the region by promoting adherence to high-quality professional standards to the international level. 
SARC has recognized SAFA as one of its apex bodies. The wise and forward-looking leaders of the profession established SAFA in 1984 to foster regional cooperation and harmony among the professionals. SARC, in fact, came into being only one year thereafter at the political level. SAFA has currently nine member bodies from the five South Asian countries. India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and now Sri Lanka have two member bodies representing management accountants and charter accountants. Only Nepal doesn't yet have a separate body for management accountants. SAFA is keen to extend possible necessary technical support for developing the profession in the other member countries of SAAC, namely Afghanistan, Maldives, and Bhutan. In the near future, we hope to welcome professional bodies from these countries as well in SAFA. The countries in the SAAC region are of different sizes and in the different stages of growth. Similarly, the member bodies of SAFA are not of equal size and are in the different stages of development, but they work together in the same footings and respect each other in equal terms. SAFA believes that together we can grow into a formidable force to meet the international challenges of high standards and excellence in professional capabilities. Together we can contribute towards uplifting the lives of the large mass of unfortunate people from hunger, disease, and poverty. IFAC recognizes SAFA as its regional grouping. SAFA extends cooperation to IFAC to carry out its mission to strengthen the worldwide accountancy profession and contribute to the development of strong international economies. At the same time, SAFA provides a forum to deliberate on issues specifically relevant to the developing economies and systems which may require representation in the framing and reviewing of international standards, raising a united voice in the international forum and representing the perspective of developing economies is essential for addressing their special needs. SAFA is working in several important fronts through active engagement of several of its committees. Among the important works is the one towards harmonizing the accounting education in the SAAC region. The role of accountancy profession in business is no less important than that of accounting profession in 